Hello, welcome back to Bandol Sushi Live Noding. Um, now back to the Live Noding series, I will do something that's a little bit quick. Um, since I was talking about Alembic on the other video series, maybe I'll show you something that could be useful. Um, so I ex I exported this uh this like a motion capture animation from Maya, and it's an Alembic file now. Since Blender can handle Alembic now, uh, it's it's a lot easier to do. Kind of um, if you have like an animations, um, maybe like a human animation, and you wanna kind of duplicate the animation and just randomize the offset, it's a little bit more e uh, easier. Um, you can do that beforehand uh, by using the MDD point cache. However, is uh, using Alembic seems to be even better. Let's have a look. Uh, so I have exported the Alembic and it's called Maya Dance Out. I'll have a look. So, okay, that's the Alembic file. Apparently it's, uh, it's pretty big in the unit size and it's got cut like that. So I'll make the camera, um, camera clipping, just make it a little bit bigger, like 5,000. Now I can see there's uh, these animations. Um, it's from Maya and it's just a just a, like a human character dancing and if we check the object under the modifier we can see it's a mass sequence cache and it's sourcing this uh, Maya dance out dot um, we could easily um, create duplicates of this uh, alembic animations using animation nodes and then you can um, randomize the frame number um, you can scale it, I think, no, just leave it like that for now. Um, we're gonna off-write the frame, but that's gonna be for later. I'm gonna name this one Master. And I'm gonna switch to animation nodes and create a new file, a uh, new nodes tree. Um, I'm gonna source this guy real quick. Obj um, using object instancer node and let's save this real quick this is gonna be alembic an alembic 001 save copy we're gonna copy full objects and deep copy uh, maybe five instance we're gonna turn off the always and just use frame change <coughs> Let's source our master object. Um, what I like about Blender is uh, whenever we have an object and then point cache using modifier or all kind of modifier, it works really well with animation nodes. It's kind of really, really um, elegant, I think. So I can simply now lay out the copy. I can try using objects, uh, object transform output, and let's have a look. Um, vector out, combine vector. Um, maybe have like a um, integer range uh, or just for simplicity I'm gonna use random vector <clears throat> plug in the index into the seed and then plug the vector into the locations now if we update it we should have um, five different copy hopefully um, there, are, there are five of them, but they are very close together. We need to increase the scale, like maybe 150 times, and update it. Now we have a copy like that. If you want it, if you want all the characters in the, in the ground, you can you know separate the vector into X, Y, Z, and then I'm just gonna show it to you separate the vector and yeah okay it's create this automatically for us 
we just need the x and y um, while the z can be zero just update it again now the duplicate copy is all sitting on the floor like that so it's pretty cool um, you can of course make them a little bit more far apart but it's really totally up to you uh, so at the moment there are really um, five different copies and each one of them have this uh, modifier that's uh, sourcing the alembic animation what we want to do is uh, we go back to the master and we want to uh, override the frame and let's update real quick and then now we have control over the frame I believe um, even though it's not updating in real time now come back to the copy and we can see that each one of the copy have this uh, off-right frame on um, there's this one thing um, with Alembic at the moment um, apparently each one of them is a uh, kind of using the same uh, kind of using the same um, mesh sequence cache data we, we, we need to maybe manually make a single user copy in, Bl in Blender it's quite common is uh, if you have for example you have uh, one material and you have five objects and that uh, those five objects is using the same um, are using the same material then you have this uh, one data being linked into five different objects that's what happening at the moment and normally um, animation nodes kind of make a single copy automatically but it doesn't seem to work with Alambic so for now just do it manually so for um, see I'm selecting this guy and there's a number six if I tap on number six I'm making a copy and I will make another copy and I'm gonna do it for the rest I'm just gonna have like five of these for now so it's not a big problem even if you have like uh, 100 or 200 you can do it <laughs> Uh, one by one, uh, not a big deal. You can also script it probably, uh, but anyway, the now we have control over each one of the character basically, and we can just simply randomize it. Um, it's, it's as simple as that. Um, there is one thing though. How do we access the? How do we access the frame number here? And plug it into animation nodes. Um, you can see here it's a bpy dot data dot cache files blah 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 dot frame. Now this is um, this is the interesting part. Okay, apparently um, normally if you have like um, modifier like subdivision modifier, and you're changing the the render value, you see it's it's um, it's giving this bpy dot context dot object modifiers modifier name and render level blah blah blah. It's as um, so if you want to access that, it's as easy as using object out attribute output and plugging in the object and then just copy and paste the, the modifier name. Now, the funny thing with the mass sequence cast, if I'm changing the frame number, it, it didn't give us the bpy.context object modifier, blah, blah, blah. It's what it gives us is the bpy.data cache file so this is a slightly different but if we if we check using python and i just do a little bit um digging so um if we check the object um modifier let's see modifier and then go to the mesh sequence cache and then check the there's a cache file and there's a frame that's actually giving us a, a value that's exactly what we need um, C C means uh, BPY context so BPY context object modifiers blah 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 what we need whenever you see um, if you can access using the Python object dot something that something that something can be access it in the animation nodes so you can pipe in the that data block and 
and you simply now we have like modifier mass sequence cache cache file frame and so what we need to do now is just uh, use a time info node um, let's save into a new blend file let's plug this guy there and then we want to randomize the animation so just just multiply the delay with a math we've done this a couple of times so should be easy now should be really easy um, let's say what's the delay is gonna be um, time delay mm, we can use actually random random number and then plug in the index into the seed and then use some map range and plug this into the value hide this input output minus 20 and 20 and plug into the delay update everything now we can see our animations it's a um, they're all slightly offset so you have kind of more random um, looking animations like that so that's really really cool um, that we can do this quite il easily like like this um, if you want to be um, more obvious we can we can do another the other trick you know if you have these objects and then just give it a material give it an object color and go back to our object attribute output stuff just plug in the object here and we're gonna randomize the color give a value um, random combine color and we have this HSP stuff hue saturation give it a value of 1 plug in the color there for the hue we can have um, uh, you know the drill so if I just plug in the divide and index there iteration there plug in there to the hue and update it um, I'm expecting each of this guy to have a different color huh. maybe it didn't work <clears throat> Let's see what is. Uh, maybe I have to turn off this guy. And go back to this guy. Material one. Object color on. And go back to this guy. So they have different color already. Um, maybe you need to turn on the material or solid. Yeah, normally this will just work. Let me try something. Cube. <coughs> I create a cube <coughs> and give it a material. Material one. Um, object color uh, yeah this should actually work maybe the alembic thing is slightly different I'm just gonna have to manually assign it because the alembic thing is quite new um, so yeah all right that's how it's supposed to work um, it should get copied and stuff maybe the, um, the animation nodes thing needs to be modified to so that the the alembic will work correctly but anyway we can we can do it like this and now if we change it to texture we have this kind of uh, very cool motion graphic kind of stuff this is like a 
if you know um, Japanese anime, not anime, it's actually like a <clears throat> TV series like um, you know Power Rangers and uh, they call it Google Google Five and it's like five character doing um, like superheroes that's uh, made up of five characters that's looking <laughs> exactly like that um, let's go back to the compositing I'll just make this 500 and let's play back this thing again in a 3d view full uh, wait a minute we'll turn off always and 3d view Alt A. Where is our animation? <clears throat> there you go. Almost lost. This should be like ten thousand, so I don't lost them. Uh, create our timeline. playback so there you go that's how I create uh, the animation offset the other days I did it with a 250 crowd of character like this and yeah it's actually really simple to do using animation nodes now it's pretty amazing um, normally you would probably write Python or create a drivers Although yeah, I think using drivers also is not not so bad actually. You can randomize it using drivers. It's uh, it's much easier to do, but you have to also taking care of the object instances and those sort of things. Anyway, that's um, pretty much what I want to show you um, today. Um, thanks again for tuning in to Blender Sushi Live Noting. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Um, please do comments and likes the video and then subscribe to the channel if you want to see more video like this. Uh, 